brings us to the um, the the bidirectional power supply that Minwa offers, which is the BIC-2200. So it is a bidirectional power supply that is able to convert AC to DC, and then also convert DC to AC back into the uh, the grid. And this is allows uh, energy recycling with very high efficiency. So the unit is fully digital control, and it supports Canbus digital communication protocol. And m multiple units can be also connected in parallel to support those larger uh, robotic applications up to 11 kilowatts. And of course, uh, the unit has to feed back into the, uh, the AC grid during its inverting operation mode. It's designed with ultra low um, total harmonic distortion of less than 5%. So that won't cause any uh, issues or uh, noises to the other devices that's connected on the AC line. And the unit comes with both a automatic operation mode for the AC to DC and DC to AC operation, as well as a forced or controlled mode that is uh, on the CAN bus model only. So for the automatic de detection mode, the BIC2200 will detect the DC voltage if the voltage on the output side is higher than its output voltage set point, it will go into the DC to AC inversion mode. But if there's no voltage on the output side or uh, low voltage on the DC side, it would just be the normal AC to DC power supply. So in the scenario of powering a robotic arm, uh, during the normal operation, of course, it will take power from AC and drive the motor. And then when the robotic arm is suddenly breaking or they're doing a falling down motion, a sudden high voltage will appear on the BIC2200 uh, output side because of the motor characteristics, the back EMF. And the BIC2200 will be able to switch quickly into the uh, regenerative mode, which is the DC to AC mode, and then dissipate that force back into the AC grid. And of course, if the customers, their system, they don't want to rely solely on the automatic mode, uh, there's also a programmable uh, bidirectional mode, which uses the control logic uh, by the CAN bus. So customers can pass a CAN bus command to tell the unit which mode they want the, um, the system to operate in.